Now let's see how to do that, inside the Premiere Pro. This is my background image. And you can use any kind of background. This is my screenshot. And I am going to use this video inside the screenshot. First add your background into the timeline. Under the Effects tab, search for Gaussian Blur. Add this effect to the background image. Then go to the Effect Controls tab, and increase the blurriness 50 to 60%. If you want to remove the side edge, then enable Repeat Edge Pixels, and decrease the opacity to make it a little darker. Going back to the Project panel, add your screenshot above the background image. If you like you can add your video to the screenshot. So add your video above the screenshot layer. And I don't need this audio, so let's remove it. Now select your video layer. Then go to the Effects Control tab. And adjust the video size and position, to fit with your screenshot. Ok, it's perfect for me. Now select the screenshot and video layers. Then nest the two layers. Let's call it screenshot. Cut and delete the unwanted part. Click Ctrl plus K to cut. Now go to the effects tab. Then search for drop shadow. And apply this effect to the screenshot layer. Inside the effect controls tab. Choose a shadow color for outer glow. And change the distance 5 to 0 and set the softness 60. Let's increase the screenshot size a little bit. Again go to the effects tab. Now search for basic 3D effect and apply it to the screenshot layer. Then go to the effect controls tab and under the basic 3D effect you can add the specular highlight and change the swivel value to see the specular highlight. Now add a keyframe to the swivel, and make sure your time indicator to the first frame. Then change the swivel value minus 20, and set the tilt value minus 5. Now go to the last keyframe, and change the swivel value 20 degrees. And it looks so pretty. Let's increase the duration a little bit. And it's perfect for me. Now go to the first frame. Inside the effects tab. Search for transform effect. And apply it to the screenshot layer. Then go to the effect controls. Under the transform effect. You can animate position. So move the time indicator few frames forward and make a keyframe to the position. Again move to the first frame. Then decrease the position X value until the screenshot goes out of the frame. So it will make a nice swipe and effect. Let's add some motion blur. So set the shutter angle 360. Now it looks perfect. Now let's make a swipe out effect. So move the time indicator few frames backward from the last keyframe of basic 3D. Then add a keyframe here. Again move the time indicator few frames forward and increase the position X value until the screenshot goes out of the frame. And that's it. Our animation is ready for the final preview. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.